So today we're going to go through how to draw a gold ring in Adobe Illustrator. To begin with, we want to make a new file. We'll make that 1280 by 720 pixels. Then we want to draw an ellipse. So get the ellipse tool, click and make it 102 by 37. Okay, and we'll just rotate that around. Next, we want to go Effect, 3D and Materials, and Revolve. We want to make sure it's offset from the left edge. Angle should be 360. And change the amount of the offset to 174. So you can rotate the ring freehand just by clicking and dragging, or you can input the angles manually, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to set the rotation down here to 57 by 26 by 28. Next, we want to go into the materials tab. Scroll down till we find gold and we want gold natural. So the default gold texture doesn't look great, but there are a lot of settings that we can use to fine tune it. For the repeat setting, just put that up to 121. For color variation, keep that at 0 0.1. Pit depth, keep that at 0 0.28. Smooth surface should be right up to the maximum one. Spot intensity, 0 0.2, and surface deformation, keep that at zero. Keep depth blur intensity at one. Change dot density to 0 0.02. Microdoc strength, keep that as it is. And roughness, just bring that down slightly to 0 0.26. And keep the roughness variation where it is. Change metallic, just increase that a little bit to 0 0.9. And keep the metallic variation at zero. Adjust the position of the texture. So change the X offset to 511. The Y offset to 24. And the rotation to 80. The final thing to do is to adjust the lighting. Take the intensity down a bit to 52%. Rotation, 12. Height, 40. And softness at 86%. And just bring up the ambient light to 110%. We also want to switch on the shadows and just increase the shadow bounds so we're not cutting off any of the shadow. Now at the moment we're seeing a low quality render so we need to switch on ray tracing up here on the top right. And there we have it, a beautiful gold ring. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. See you next time.